business you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for the weekly Daily Gizwiz is provided by the new Winamp for Android, featuring wireless sync and one-click iTunes import. Now with free daily music downloads and full-length CD listening parties. Download it for free at winamp.com slash android. Video bandwidth for the weekly Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's time for the Weekly Daily Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1,369, recorded June 16th, 2012. The Weekly Daily Gizwiz is brought to you by Ford, featuring the My Ford Mobile smartphone app for electric vehicles. The My Ford Mobile app makes the electric driving experience fun and efficient. Learn more about Ford electric vehicle technologies at Ford.com slash technology. And now, get ready for Dick. Do not attempt to adjust your dial. You're stuck with this show for the next half hour. D-A-I-L. It makes its own gravy. And now, ladies and gentlemen, star of our show, Dick D. Bartolo. I think your ball's leaking. <laughs> How are you? Actually, this is uh, the, the, uh, stay tuned because I have something new for me for my balls. Really? Yes. Okay. Wow. It's a ball for my balls. Well, great. Okay, this is definitely a video version <laughs> selection. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'm sitting on it. Whoa. I'm sitting. Whoa. I'm sitting Whoa, on it right yeah. now. Mm hmm. We'll now, wait, can we'll you wait actually demonstrate that in the turn the table <laughs> turkey portion of the show? <laughs> wow. I'll have wow. to have some staff support at that time. Thank you. I think so. And if, did the defibrillator so. come in? All right. We've well, ordered it. How are you a, doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good too. I hear that there yeah. is a wonderful. Weather uh, center moving through uh, your island right now. Oh, it is beautiful out. It is unbelievable. And it's going to be for the next few days. Now, do you go outside when it's like that? <laughs> no. no. It seems no, like... I just like... I just like rain and sleet. Yeah, yeah. I go, how, oh, Dennis, it's going to be <laughs> rainy. Let's go down the boat. I just... I, for, it's because you live in the city. I just think of city dwellers as not really being big on the great outdoors. Yeah, no. No, I do like the great outdoors. Okay. The, only, the only slight problem is that, like, on Friday and Saturday nights now, it's difficult to get to the marina. Oh, wow. Because the boat basin cafe is wall to wall people. That place has caught on. Oh, I'm so glad. And on, and on yeah, no, it's great. On on a night like last night where there's an incredible sunset, you could hardly move. But yeah. It's a but you I know like it, some yeah. some reason I don't know why, but I just summer in New York to me is spells uh trouble. <laughs> I don't know why. I think people get angry, they get hot, they get sweaty. And something's oh, yeah. going to well, You know, the humidity break. is like really low these days. So right. this is not one of those days. As, as Bill in Michigan says, no one goes to Central Park anymore. It's way too crowded. Uh, well, <laughs> it depends on what part of the park. You know, during the weekday, quit your job and be a freelancer. That's right. Then you can Don't go, go in the, the middle of the day. And then yeah. it'll be you and Donald Trump. That's it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I did yesterday, Leo? What did you do yesterday, Dick? I know that you're thinking of taking on yet maybe another uh, income stream. And I saw an ad for the International Franchise Mart at the Javits Center. Oh. So I went. I found two possibilities. I would like a franchise. I would like a franchise. Okay. I don't think anybody in Petaluma has taken the Bumper Man franchise. Bumper Man. Wait a minute. That sounds good. What does Bumper Man do? Bumper Man, you bend them, I mend them. Okay. Oh, I know. I know that guy. He comes around with a giant suction cup. 
Yo, that, well, that that this this is the guy who just uh, that's the Fender guy. Oh, this is. This right. is the bumper man. But you know what? Yeah. And I, I love, I took their brochure. I love this uh, quote in here. It says, <laughs> this is a satisfied customer. Being a, uh, being a bumper man franchisee <laughs> has fulfilled a lifelong dream of Ooh, mine. Oh, yes. Every child so, dreams of being a bumper man. Oh, yeah. Man. What are you yeah. going to be? I'm going to be a <laughs> bumper man. <laughs> but, bend them. <laughs> I mend them. Now, now uh, Dr. Mom says, actually, the guy with the suction cup is the ding doctor. He is the ding doctor. Yeah. The so, ding doctor was not at the show. <laughs> what, what, what does the bumper man get? The bumper man, he does He does the bumpers. The, the ding doctor does the fenders. Oh. So you need the ding doctor and the bumper man, you'd really have a, a <laughs> you'd be, bad pileup. So uh, <laughs> does, does he get, what does the bumper man get? A big rubber mallet? I mean, what does he have? Well, they don't, they don't tell you uh, the Well, process. what's the point of the franchise if they don't give you weapons? Well, you know I mean, what? Uh, the, tools. <laughs> No, surprisingly enough, they had no uh, actual workshop there. I was a little disappointed. Um, but this reminds is me of that old please. song, the uh, telephone man. He, you know, he put, he put it in the living room, he put it in the den, he put it in the bedroom, then he put it in again. It's like I don't know why, but when I think bumper man, that's kind of yeah. Okay, so you don't want that franchise? No, I think that's no. Crazy. I'm going to check no, that okay. one off the list. What else you got? No. This is more you, Leo. Okay. 1-800-FIX.COM mm, franchise. Mm. Okay. I like the phone number. 1-800-FIX. Yeah, yeah, and this is why. Yeah. We're looking for highly motivated. That's you. Yeah. Business-minded. Yeah. That's not you. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, that's true. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. The ideal candidate will be excited about the opportunity to build a highly successful cell phone and computer repair business. Oh look! It, it looks like it looks like I could be rolling in dough if I did this. Rolling in dough, yeah. And what I like most is that it says prior technical experience in the sure. field is not necessary. Look at this so guy. This Does he look like he knows anything? No. Oh yeah, no, no. He says, okay. But she it, is rolling in the dough. In the, oh yeah, yeah. Let me guess. Is this the phone? Yes. It was a tough test. They had a blender, a toaster, and a cell phone. And you had to guess which one was the cell phone. <laughs> so they were really <laughs> it does say we buy all sorts of electronics, but we don't buy toasters. Yeah. We sell yeah, well, all sorts of electronics, that, but we don't sell toasters. toasters. See, that's why she's earning the money, because she gets the, the, she gets the connection. She gets no toasters. Yeah. No toasters. Apparently, they, they'll fix anything as long as it's not a toaster, which is odd. <laughs> yes. So, so this is so this is the big buck opportunity I was talking about actually on the radio show that uh, you know if uh, during the week Monday through Friday I could probably be fixing things and I could make fifty sixty dollars a day easy. Yeah, easy. and you have the room. You can have it. You could have it in the uh, basement of your place. Also, there were a million franchises to fry things. Frying things is very big. oh well. Frying that's because nobody doesn't frying. like fried food. Anything you fry no, it, exactly. fry shoe leather. It's better. Oh, fried toasters. Big. Yes. Yes. <laughs> anyway, so I have the uh, franchise book, and I'll mail it out to you. Would you please? You, uh, yeah. Dr. Mom suggesting deep fried butter. <clears throat> mm. What is There is very little. That they, they fry uh, candy bars, Snickers. They deep fat fry uh, Twinkies, I've seen. Uh, they are now frying pizza, deep fried pizza. Because pizza wasn't good enough. No, they they put the cheese in the crust, and then they decided this isn't enough. Let's deep fry it. I do know you can deep fry ice cream. That's quite good. Yes. No, that's actually pretty good. Yeah. That is good. Uh, it's all at the Texas State Fair this weekend, by the way, if you want to go and try it. Excellent. Fry it, then try it. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to deep, deep fry this fibrillator just in case <laughs> I, I'm in the vat and I need a little help. At the last moment. Well, that sounds like fun. So you went to the franchise fair. Did you go looking for? You Actually, know? you know what? I was hoping I could find like a place that was franchising something that could turn into a gadget. But uh, I did not. But yeah. I thought, you know what? I'll just uh, pick up stuff for Leo. Here. I think it sounds like not fun, actually. Yeah, it was yeah. fun. Yeah. And surprisingly, not a lot of free food. I was a little disappointed. Yeah, you'd that. think that with all that stuff, they're you frying. Would, yes, Subway was there and Papa John's was there looking for franchisees, but no one was bringing samples. I wonder what, you know, anyway. I, I wonder if she, maybe I could have, I could franchise Twit. 
Whoa, wait a minute. Yeah. We could have, I know, we could have like, you could have the daily fizz biz. And, uh, the, you know, we could just have like slightly, it'd be slightly different, you know, uh, names for each show. Instead of, you know, tech news today, we could do like, um, I don't know, alligator news today. And it would just be a little different, but similar. Leo, Leo, a podcast training school. Ooh, that, that's a good way to take people's money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's probably about the only way to make money in podcasting, actually. Exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> it probably is the only way yeah, to make money. Yeah. By the way, Dr. Mom, I don't know what she's... She's been complaining about my diet, you know, because I don't eat carbs. And now she's sending me a recipe for deep fried butter. So I don't know. I think Dr. Mom's conflicted. I don't know whether she she wants me to die or wants to kill me. Oh, Paul, it's from Paula. Paula Dean's fried butter balls. Yeah. Why would you have it, a recipe for that? Uh, have you ever seen any of her <clears throat> any of her recipes? Uh, just in case you were wondering, it does in fact require butter. Cream I cheese, guess. salt I and guess. pepper, flour, egg, breadcrumbs and peanut oil. I went to one of her book signings, and they had a deep fryer there. She would sign the book, and they would French fry it for you just before you <laughs> took it home. Right before you took it home. <laughs> she actually, like that she actually did an episode of her show called Everything's Better with Butter, in which she uh, just was all butter, including deep fried butter balls. Oh, God. Is she famous for being... There, wasn't there a news story about like her... like? Uh, and health somehow related. Yes, yeah, she's. I think she has diabetes. She has diabetes. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. What a surprise. And, and she's yeah. had it for years. And there's ah. some sort of, you know, according to the scandal papers, she didn't want to bring it out until she got a, like a drug endorsement deal. Oh my anyway. goodness. You know, so like like on the the headline on one of those papers that may or may not be true. So I do not know the true story. Well, Fox News says she has type 2 diabetes, so I believe it. Oh, it's okay. like it's like um we we when I was a kid, uh Adele uh I can't, what was her name? She was very famous health enthusiast. And uh she she died of cancer and so that kind of put a And then there was that guy Jim Fix, he liked to run, right? He was a big runner, he was a Oh runner. yeah, Jim Fix. And then he yeah. had a heart attack. So it really pretty much I think being healthy is bad for you. It is. It absolutely. You know what? If you wait long enough, there's an article. Uh, I, I think it might have been in the Times where salt is good for you. I saw that. That's a good. That's that's my Dave? guy that wrote that. Paul uh, uh, yeah. Gary Tobbs wrote that. Okay. Yeah. There yeah. you go. There Davis, you go. Wait long it. enough, and everything everything that you really love will turn out to remember be the very Woody best. Allen and Sleeper. He said we found out fried food was good for you. He was <laughs> owner of a health food uh, store. And they said, oh, no, that's, that stuff's terrible. Oh, that'll kill you. Sci that'll that'll kill you. you. Science has learned that fried food is actually. Yeah. Especially but that's what that article fries. said in the Times, that in fact, all the doctors have been recommending low-salt diets. It turns out it'll kill you. There you that go. That you need salt. There are Yay. about 500 <laughs> people right now mainlining salt. Mm. Leo said it's okay. Leo said mm. it's okay. Oh, yeah. If you take health advice from Leo, you deserve what you get. That's all I can say. So, uh, and deep fried salt, really good. Mm. So, what is your, your gadget today? Our uh, gadget today, the first gadget is, I think, is really clever and cute. And if you're a new parent, uh, you might enjoy the stoplight alarm clock. So, this is the stoplight oh, alarm clock. Oh, I love clock. this. So what it does is when you put the kid to sleep, and it's on Amazon if you just type in uh, a spotlight uh, sleep clock. When you turn the alarm on, you set it, the red light comes on very bright. Oh. And toddlers, it's really easy to they teach get them. It. Yeah, red don't, is stop. Don't get out of red. bed. I don't it, care exactly. if Santa Claus is coming down the chimney. You get back in bed. Exactly. So then at whatever time you set it for, silently the green light comes on so now the child knows it's okay to get out of bed and wake the parents now, up I, I you know it's funny we actually mentioned this we used to do a, a child rearing podcast until our kids actually got older and we realized we knew nothing uh <laughs> called, called jumping monkeys and i think on jumping monkeys we actually uh, talked about this and recommended it 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. There, there, there was a different version like four or five years ago. I, I like this particularly because I think kids will really respond to it. It's a little uh, car. You can get a it's boy cute. car. Or a girl a car. Girl. Yeah. 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 It's cute. And, and the yellow light is... What does that a, mean? Go to the bathroom? <laughs> no. The yellow, the yellow light uh, goes on and off. If the kid takes a nap, it can be a little security night light. Oh. So it's very clever. Also on Amazon, I noticed that there is a version with a cat on a scooter or a dog on a scooter. If for some reason you don't want the cars, um, they sell for thirty nine ninety nine, and for some reason, the dog and cat version are cheaper, about thirty three dollars. <laughs> nobody, nobody wanted them. No one wanted them. <laughs> oh, you know, there you go. You yeah, got, yeah, you got they're all on the website. It's stoplightclock dot com. You know. Um, I, I think something maybe you'd be interested in knowing, the green light never actually comes on. Uh, no. No. And that's why parents particularly like this. The kids just never yeah. get out of bed. Yeah. They're, they're trapped. They, you know, honey, you know what? It just dawned on me. <laughs> We're in Bermuda. Did did you... Did Red green... light. <laughs> Red light. No, it's okay. I said it for uh, I said it for two weeks from now at 7 a.m. So, a... Credit to uh, Dr. Mark's wife who was in there with Dr. Mark. We should mention... Our, one of our most fervid fans is in there with you right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, did you know? Don't, uh, no. All he's I know is in the studio. <laughs> right. I mean, I had to wrestle the mic away from uh, Dr. Mark to even do, do the radio spot. <laughs> I heard there was a little commotion when you were doing yes, the radio yes. spot. Said, Listen, I drove down to get here. I want to be on the air. I said, could you just wait till I do the radio spot? He said, well, Okay. <laughs> But I bought my guitar, and I plan on singing a he song. He did. And a little later on, uh, Dr. Mark Sikernig, or Forrester as we uh, know him, uh, yes. will, in fact, perform the Turn the Table turkey theme for us wow. all. Yeah, I'm very yeah. excited about that. It's a new CD that's coming out yes. soon called <laughs> Franchises to Stay Away From. <laughs> um, this is cool. This is called the Stoplight yeah. Alarm Clock. A red light for a good night. If this works, I mean, but it, do we know that it works? Because this is such well, a Well, you know good what? Uh, what I always do is uh, check the reviews on Amazon. Hundreds of them. Most people are in love with it. A oh, few people neat. said they thought it was uh, cheaply made. It does come from China. Well, it doesn't matter. The kid doesn't know it's mine is made. Mine is, is uh, I think, pretty rugged. Uh, the thing is, the people who it works for... They say you 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 could put any price you want on this clock, and I would buy it because my kid really pays attention wow. to it. And every day I set it for fifteen minutes later because I'm finally getting some sleep. Wow! And they, I wish they, they'd had this. I wonder if Henry would be influenced by it today. I mean, he is seventeen. You know what? I when we went driving, Leah, he did not recognize what red <laughs> green was. I, I said, Henry, it's a red light. He said, Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? He said, It's not the kind of red I like. Not my favorite it's color. Not my favorite color. We're not going to stop here. No. Wow. He said, Dick, the red light is a suggestion. <laughs> He's so pretty I said, much, oh, okay. Pretty I said, much exactly think, his thinking. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Petaluma. I figured, well, Petaluma it might be different. We only have so. a couple of lights, so, you know, you miss one, yeah. you, there's always another one down the road a bit. Oh, good. good. <sighs> oh, that's a good idea. Uh, we could put this outside his bedroom door in case he's got visitors. <clears throat> oh. oh. Mm. He could set the red and green exactly. light. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so that is... Now, do we have a video of the week this week? We do have video of the week. I think it's called uh, Give It the Gas. And um, Anything I should know Giz about it ahead of time? Any uh, nope. Gizwizvideos.com should take you uh, to it. Any preparations our, our viewers uh, No, should... I can just tell hey, you that... Oh, there we go. Yeah, I, I, I hear it. Uh, explanatory. That, that must, it's self-explanatory. Ladies and gentlemen, it is our creation of the week. From Dick D. Bartolo. A little film short. Remember they used to do that on Saturday Night Live? And now, a little film short by Dickie D. Here we go. Hey, Dickie Bartolo, Maz Mattis writer. End the Gizwiz with this week's there's somebody weekly behind you, daily Dick. Dick, Gizwiz there's, there's video. There's somebody behind you. Okay, it's so I don't Mark. spend a lot of time in the kitchen. I come in here twice a year <laughs> I just want, to make I just want to a say, pineapple upside Dick, down cake. Dick, but uh, now there, I'm in here a There's, there's a stranger with... on the other side of the counter there. I just want you to know... 
He looks like he's aiming something at you that says twit <laughs> yeah, on yeah. it. I don't. It's, <laughs> it's called a mirror. Oh, a mirror. Oh, aren't we highfalutin? All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rewind because I was a little okay. distracted. But you can see Dennis shooting this. this yes, this absolutely. Yeah. I know. We didn't, I didn't want to give away the mystery that I don't actually talk and do these myself. But <laughs> You have help. Un unfortunately. There was a mystery. I thought you were using a high-quality camera. Apparently, you're using a phone. <laughs> no, we're using the Vado, which is Oh, it's the Vado. Okay. Yeah, the Vado. Right. Okay. okay, here we go. One more time. Hey, Dickie Martola, Mads Madness writer, and the Gizwiz with this week's weekly daily Gizwiz video. Okay, so I don't spend a lot of time in the kitchen. I come in here twice a year to make a pineapple upside down cake. But uh, now I'm in here a third time this year to make something I've never made before. I'm going to make soda. Yeah, <laughs> soda that you drink. Uh, oven set for 420 degrees. Which is stupid because you don't need the oven. Okay, all you need is this. This is a uh, a little system called Soda Stream, and you need plain ordinary tap water. Okay, so I already filled a Soda Stream bottle, and you use their bottles because um, it takes the amount of pressure that you want, and you decide how fizzy you want your soda to be. So this is plain ordinary tap water. They like it refrigerated before you start. There's a little fill line here. I seem to have gone a touch over the fill line, so I'm just gonna spill a touch out. And then you come back and you put it up under the nozzle. Now there's a CO2 cartridge uh, back in here. And we already uh, put it in because that's pretty boring to see. And you just turn this guy until it stops. It has stopped, okay, and so no electric, um, no LEDs, <laughs> that's one single button, and this is the button to add the CO2 gas Release to the your gas. Plain, ordinary tap water, <laughs> and whoa, so you start by fizzing it, and you keep fizzing it, oh, I love, this is fun, isn't it? That's why they sent me one, because at the, at, uh, at, uh, oh, at the expo, so that's, uh, that oh, was two. I guess we're out. Three is sort of a, an ideal amount of carbonation. <laughs> Four. I guess that was, I guess we can carbonate. You, you've overgassed it. You can go up to 10 if you like it really fizzy. And that's why they say use these bottles because it can take that amount of fizz. And then we're going to tilt it forward. Tilting it forward just releases the extra gas. And we unscrew wow, it. actually made it soda water. And then we're going to add the... So right and now, oh, this looks good. This, Look at, this shows nice you why uh, Coca-Cola is such a this. profitable this business. Free, <laughs> so <laughs> I happen to like Coke Zero. So maybe this will be vaguely like that. So you unscrew this. And it's like laundry detergent. <laughs> However... Do not use laundry detergent, okay? Well, and don't use this on your you laundry spill either. spill the cap oh, full of that, that into the this. Look at that. Ooh. Let's shake it up really good. Ooh, even yeah. Dennis <laughs> likes this. And then don't shake it up, okay? I heard um, you. Even recording this. It says <laughs> that if you shake it up, you're in for a big shock because it's what would happen with uh, any kind of soda. But you just sort of mix the flavor in. So we're going to do that one. I don't he know just made a gizwiz fizz. And two. Oh, that's great. I'm going to get a paper towel here. And we're going to open it. Okay. Oh, I guess I should have. Let me lean over here and get. I'll just get a mug since there's a mug that's The kitchen handy. is so clean. And also a mug. <laughs> How nice long have those clear. cookies been there? <laughs> and. No, a less than a month. Oh, this good. looks pretty good. It looks like Cola soda. Cola free. And let me sit taste. Actually, it's pretty decent. All right, so let me tell you about pricing. Machines are um, a little bit under 100 bucks. Was for ninety nine ninety nine. Probably some discounts online, but I'm not sure. But you're better off with the whole kit. Kit's about one twenty nine or one thirty nine. You get two bottles and you get a pack of um, sugar water. Package of yeah. twelve different flavors. Flavored so you can try all the different yeah. flavors. You can make ginger ale. You can. Uh, 
You can buy a tonic water thing. You can make lemonade. You can make country, uh, country uh, crystal light. I, I doc Mark wonders if they have Dr. So, Brown's um, celery in there. I went online hundreds and <laughs> hundreds of reviews. Mostly very oh, favorable. Moxie. It seems to be that a bottle of soda like this would be somewhere around 55 to 65 cents to make it. In New York City, a two-liter bottle of soda is two bucks to 2 a 30. So this is a real saving. The great thing about this is not lugging the bottles back and forth. You keep using the same bottle over and over again. And you can make soda any time, day or night, when you run out of soda. Uh, so basically, I'm giving this uh, five bubbles up. No recycling. And no recycling. Absolutely. The same bottle keeps getting used. You can use the same water over uh, and over So there again it is. Soda too. Stream. Not and I think no. the website oh. is sodastreamusa.com, but this will all be on my website. Um, I, I like it. Dick Bartolo, Mads Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz with this week's weekly, daily, I guess I shouldn't do this. I think I won't. <laughs> weekly, daily, <laughs> Gizwiz video. No more fizzes. This is what you would do. Uh, yeah, that's exactly. exactly. Not oh, to do this. Oh, I see. If the bottle's not in there, it must shut the gas off. Clever. Bye. And, and people are saying, how do we shut the gas off again? <laughs> um, <laughs> so, take <clears throat> now, didn't Mayor so, Bloomberg uh, ban soda in New York? Uh, well, not soda, but the giant, you, in other words, out of at a fast food place, you'll only be able to buy Super a 16-ounce cup. Got yes, it. anything so over 16 Maybe ounce. you want to bring the soda stream with you the next time you go to Burger King and Ooh. make your own. Make my own, yeah. <laughs> Take but, that, uh, man, blow my... You, you can, can make, make seltzer for 25 sure. cents a bottle. Because you don't so need the flavoring. Seltzer is just carbonated water. Yeah, exactly, no. exactly. But I like the fact that you don't have to drag uh, soda bottles back and forth. And it may not be as ec as money-saving in other parts of the country because a two-liter bottle, the cheapest I can find a two-liter bottle of soda is a buck ninety-nine, And with that machine, you can make two liters for a buck. So it would pay for itself rather quickly. And also not lugging the bottles back and forth and no bottles in the landfill and um, it's pretty nifty. And you can make diet drinks and regular drinks. Um, and their regular drinks are less sugar than uh, commercial brands. I think it's a great, a, a very good idea. Do you, do you drink soda pop? I drink a ton of soda do pop. You? I yeah, really that Coke, do. the yeah. Coke free, <clears throat> that stuff. Yeah, Coke Zero Coke is, Zero, is what I've yeah. been drinking. Oh, and in the gas container, Zabars carries them. You bring the, uh, it, it's a, the uh, gas container fills up the whole back of that machine. You bring the gas container in, it's 15 bucks, and you give them that one, and they give you a new gas container filled. So you just keep bringing them back to the store. And uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, a, a lot of chains are uh, doing this now. So it's very easy to get the gas refilled. Cool. Yeah. And if your ball runs out, Leo, God knows, maybe you could carbonate I that. I think carbon, uh, that's like interesting, because CO2 in the ball. Yeah. It had a little little fizz to the whole thing. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It, it seems a little a pricey. I have to say, it's a little, 100 bucks for that is a, it seems a little pricey. Yeah. I, I think that's why if you're in a, an area where prices are very high, it, it could pay for itself quickly. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. But, but you're right. I mean, 50 cents a bottle, it should be pennies a bottle. Well, Celsa is 25 cents oh, a yeah. bottle. Yeah, yeah. And Celsa here, Dennis drinks a lot of Celsa. It's 89 cents for a bottle of Celsa here right, for right. a liter of Celsa. I don't know. Do you know what you pay for soda out there? I don't. I don't drink that crap. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> that's the worst okay. stuff ever. You're too, too busy <laughs> making cold stone soda. Yes, exactly. Stone. Exactly. <laughs> it's the man who said, uh, this seems a little pricey for me, the man who paid. So far, I have a, close to $15,000 yes, in coffee-making equipment. Cold brew coffee making. I have a whole dedicated counter for coffee making. But I won't touch soda. No siree. No, no, no. No, no, yeah. no. Uh, let's see. I think it's time for Gadget 3. Uh, it is Gadget 3, and it's from V-Moda. Do you know, do you know V-M-O-D-A? Do you know that name? It sounds familiar. I yeah, they, they make... Uh, Entire line of headphones. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know, 
up into the hundreds of dollars. Well, it's kind of interesting because uh, let me get the guy's name here. The uh, the founder of the company or the president of the company. Uh, where is his name? Oh, yeah. Val Colton, T-O-N, the founder of Vmoda, is very big into trying to help people, especially young people, save their hearing because now it's very easy to go to rock concerts and buy gigantic speakers. And, and even though they make headphones, they're making something new, kind of clever, and they're called Vmoda Faders. So they look like a pair of their high-tech headphones, but they're actually earplugs that just knock 18 decibels off the music that you're listening to. That's good because so my son won't wear head uh, earphone, you know, uh, I'm sorry, earplugs because it's uncool, right? But yes, if they look exactly. like they were wearing headphones, that yes. would be cool because you go to a concert but you're listening to something else. That's the height of cool. That, that's that's exactly, right. and the great thing is they're they're like twenty bucks on his website. It's a very and good idea. Yeah, yeah, and also they it's kind of interesting. They come with this little string, and they come with a carry case, and the carry case has a hole through it, so you can use the string to also carry the carry case. But if you don't want the string at all, they're actually threaded into the earplug so that they unscrew. Uh, they come in three different colors, but they're really nicely designed. They look like they're brushed steel. And you're right. I think people who feel dorky wearing uh, earplugs, no one will ever know that you're not wearing a, a pair of uh, high-end ear uh, earphones with these guys. So it's called V-Moda Faders, and uh, Amazon has them for like 19 bucks and change. And they come with four sets of those little silicon rubber uh, tips so that you can fit them to your ear pretty precisely. And as I said, knocks 12 decibels uh, off the ear, uh, off the noise level, and still lets you hear the music or the voice. I tried it with both music and voice until the neighbors upstairs started banging on the floor. Cut out that noise, which is annoying because it's Dennis. But anyway... <laughs> Uh, so the idea is really not to eat ear, put on earplugs and listen to your stereo really loud because that, no, that, that would probably be kind of kind counterproductive, of, yeah. right? Kind of counterproductive. You annoy the neighbors, not yourself. That's good. Clever. Oh, wait, maybe we can sell it's them a new that. campaign. <laughs> hey, I am uh, I am excited. I have I have two, not one, but two gadgets Ooh. for our turkey today. Whoa. One whoa. of which involves... I'll have to sit tight. Yeah, well, you will have to sit tight. This one of them involves some real tight sitting. Okay. Okay? But stay tuned. Before we do that, I do want to talk a little bit about our friends at Ford, the uh, Ford Motor Company. Uh, of course, as announced, and we talked a lot about it, the 2012 Focus Electric. It's available at EV certified Ford dealers near you. You can find out more at ford.com slash technology. Uh, but I, we wanted to talk today a little bit about the uh, exciting app that comes with your electric vehicle at Ford. If you go to Ford.com slash electric slash Focus Electric slash 2012, you can read more about the uh, Focus Electric and find out more about this amazing app. The uh, It's called the My Ford Mobile app. Let me find the uh, 2012 Focus Electric site and I can show you more here. So if I scroll down a little bit, you'll see that this app is so cool. It runs on smartphones, including Android, uh, iPhones, of course, Blackberries, and it allows you to do things like, well, choose when the car should charge. You could do that from your phone. Uh, the value charging feature, which is powered by Microsoft, actually knows what the best times are for charging the lowest utility rates and will make sure your car charges at that point, which is, I think, very cool. It also uh, does things like shows you the most eco-friendly route, shows you where charging stations are, shows you the current state of charge for your electric vehicle, how soon it'll be fully charged, all this on your mobile. And then they have a great website, which has like leaderboards for how much CO2 you've saved and so forth. 
Look, I say 392 pounds of CO2, enough to fill 300 exercise balls. See? Even they're using CO2 for their exercise balls. <laughs> I swear to God, it said that right on the site. It is, uh, it is just really uh, exciting to, be, uh, to see what Ford is doing with uh, the, the, the latest state-of-the-art consumer electronics, merging it with the car to give you an incredible vehicle. I actually, uh, at last time I did this commercial, I started building my Ford Focus electric because I'm kind of, ex I kind of want to get one. Choose transmission. Is it one speed? Yes, that's all. Just, you don't have a big expensive transition. You don't have to have tune-ups. These motors are incredible. There's no oil changes ever again. Things like that. It's just so cool. I want you to check it out. Go to your EV certified Ford dealer and test drive the 2012 Ford Focus electric and bring your smartphone so you can put the My Ford Mobile app on it and see how cool it is. This is you would like this. They even have LEDs in yes. the plug so that it, it the charge port lights up when it's fully charged. How do you like that? I like that. I'm going to buy a port. <laughs> yeah, you don't need the car. No, just I want to just get the plug. Just the port. Yeah, just, just so port. you you know people. You know, I think you could have a remote charging station in front of your house. And when people come to visit, they could plug in. You don't need the uh, car. Nah, yep. See? Franchise opportunity. Yep. Portable remote charging stations. Mm. How about that? I'm liking it. Did you know this, this car has an eco-conscious interior? The seat fabric is 100% recycled materials. The cushions are made of bio-based foam derived from plant seed oils. They don't talk about that a lot, but really, this is an eco... This is all-round eco-friendly... And you've got it. You've got it right in it. It's so comfy, so nice. The 2012 Ford Focus. Soon the uh, plug-in fusion uh, hybrid, the energy, will be out. And uh, and eventually every car in the Ford line will have uh, a My Ford mobile app. And we thank Ford for their uh, support of the weekly Daily Giz. And now if you, my friend Dick, would do the uh, honors, it's time for Turn the Table Turkey Time. And I have a very special theme recorded for us. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, Leo Laporte, a man who has his head in the sky, his butt on a ball, <laughs> yes. will entertain us with his Turn the Table Turkey. Leo looks under his desk to find some crap to share. This is Dr. Forrester. He says, Leo... That's your underwear. What? Next time Leo looks, he comes up with a pair of shoes. Dick says, Leo, that's not what we share on Giz Wiz News. <laughs> Third try, Leo, but get scratched by a spork. Dick says, Leo, we're geeks, we aren't dorks. Show them something silly, remarkable, or just unique. Or turn the table Tuesday. Something silly, remarkable, or just unique. For turn the tables, <laughs> turkey comes but once a week. Dr. Mark Sakonig, our uh, eye doc wow. Mark. And his wow. performance that and was an electronic harp that you have. I here. think so. How he performed that live at Carnegie Hall last night. To yeah, the Carnegie Hall Deli <laughs> in the alleyway. <laughs> so this is I got two. And this one actually comes to me, and I've, I've got thanks to Lizard77, uh, Liz Romero, for uh, handing me the box. <laughs> Gee, this, she, you actually bought this, right? It's the TheraBand 13-inch latex-free. What do you think? Now, if I tell you that much, what do you think? PVC. <laughs> It's a stability disc. Now you know you know I sit in a ball. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Who doesn't? It's all everybody does. I sit on a CO two filled rubber ball. I actually this one is uh, flavored with Coke Zero, and uh, and I like it because it gives me you know core strength. But you can't always like uh, you know when you're at a traveling at a hotel you can't bring your ball with you. I tried. And it, they don't let you on the airplane with your stability ball. So this is the idea of this is you could use it for exercise. In fact, a lot of people do weightlifting on things like this. Uh, they call it a, a BOSU ball. Uh, it's kind of like a half ball. Uh, this is tough. You wouldn't break this. But you could also use it to sit on. So And it has little uh, nubbies uh, on the bottom uh, of it, which would be suitable for massaging the buttocks. 
or whatever potty part you've, you you're, you're you're perched upon, <laughs> and uh, and on the other side. It's just got little nubbies for grip because you certainly wouldn't want to slide off this. Now, is it inflatable or is it just as is? It looks like it has a little uh, a hole for like a sports ball inflator, a pin, you know. And uh, and so if you had, you know, a pump. So let me just try sitting on this. Now, this might not be recommended because I am already sitting on a ball. So I'm going to put the TheraBand... Uh, 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 oh, the TheraBand is just for a chair, basically. Yeah, I think you probably aren't supposed to put it. I mean, this would be du this is doubly therapeutic now yeah. because I'm and sitting suicidal. Yeah, it really. Uh, this is good for core strength. Look at that. I mean, I am I am really uh, floating, yeah. and you look really good too. <laughs> this is actually it's not bad. It's kind of. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, you probably wouldn't want to do this on a ball. Yeah. But you could put this on a chair. And Liz says it feels very, you know, she sits on a ball out in the, in the uh, office. And, and she says it feels very much like sitting on a ball as well. So how much was that, Liz? It was 25 Probably, probably 25 bucks. Yeah. The TheraBand. Okay. I think this is cool. For people who have seen me yeah. sit on a ball, that's not always convenient. And, frankly, uh, it tempts people at the office to come around with a sharp stick. Uh, the Stability Disc. Uh, you can also use it for things like sit-ups and crunches and 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 it's it's good to your balance is important so thank you liz i think that's really cool it's very nice but that's not my only gadget wow there's more i also have this quad core pen i want to show you Ooh. <laughs> actually i could show you this I, I realized during the radio show we were talking about multi-core processors that this twit pen is a multi-core pen it has black red blue and a stylus all in what? one pen. Oh. And just like a multi-core processor, you still can only do one thing at a time. Wow. But that is not my gadget. This, my friends. Really? Ooh. <laughs> it's my gadget. It is the Samsung Galaxy S3. It's coming out on AT&T, Verizon Sprint, and T-Mobile in about one week. Uh, you could pre-order it on, I think, all four carriers now. This is what everybody is talking about, the hot new smartphone. Uh, the Galaxy S2 was very popular. In fact, I loved it. This is the successor. And you'll notice a few things. Remember, I was using a Galaxy Note for a while. Uh, that's a 5.3-inch screen. This isn't quite as big. It's only 4.8 inches, but it's the same resolution, 1280 by 720, which means it's a high-def screen. And I have to say, it really is beautiful i don't know if you can tell on the stream how gorgeous Boy, this i is. can see the the fish moving back there yeah That's you neat. know well okay so this is a quad core phone Oh, they're real fish yeah they're actually in the phone oh wow this phone is four 1.4 gigahertz processors it's an exynos uh, uh chip the uh which comes from uh, samsung that's a lot of power in this phone probably more oh i'm not signed into netflix here let's i have another i have another movie app on here i'll, I'll run up i want to play a movie for you a high yeah. movie in here because it, it really is a gorgeous screen um i would say this is the most beautiful screen i've ever used it's samsung super amoled yes um but uh Unlike the Nexus, Galaxy Nexus, which was also a Super AMOLED high-res screen and a pentile display. That's where they kind of fake the number of pixels. Um, this this really looks good. There's no color noise in the whites. Uh, it's just very deep, rich colors. And at, at, at you know 1280 by 720, it is super high resolution. This is easily retina uh, quality display it's just a gorgeous display very suitable for uh, watching videos on in wow. fact it comes with two videos free um the bodyguard i mean they're not the greatest movies but the, <laughs> it comes with a couple of videos um it comes with dropbox two years of dropbox 50 gig storage um, now, what I've just described, the quad core, the 50 yeah. gigs of Dropbox storage, the two free movies, are not on all carriers. In fact, a couple of char carriers, I think it's Verizon and AT&T, have decided not to offer the Dropbox. Uh, I think a couple of, I think most of the U.S. carriers are only doing dual core, not quad core. I don't, that's because they want to support LTE and there's no LTE chip that has quad core. I don't think that's going to be a big problem. I think that quad core is crazy. 
This is a very fast phone, but I think it would probably be just as fast, and you'd probably get better battery life with the dual core. But I just think it's gorgeous. One thing that you will get is this Android exclusive, and I should say this is an Android phone. It's an ice cream sandwich version 4.0. But this is an Android exclusive Flipboard, which has for a long time been one of my favorite apps on the iPad. Came out with an iPhone version in December, which is just spectacular. And now this is the Android version, but you can only get it on a Samsung Galaxy S3 for at least the first few months. It's a really great way of, of reading um, newspapers or magazines, Twitter feeds on uh, the phone. And it is gorgeous on this screen. And this screen is just the right size. 4.8 inches, still small enough to hold. It's extremely thin. In fact, unlike the Galaxy S2, there's not even a bump at the bottom for uh, the antennas. It's just really thin, really light. It feels like it's just a big screen, you know. The camera is spectacular, too. It is the same Sony uh, processor and camera that uh, Apple uses in its iPhone 4S. Now, remember, it's not just camera. It's also software. Uh, but I have to say the Samsung TouchWiz camera app is quite spectacular. Let me uh, just show you an image I shot earlier today. One of the things the um, the uh, uh, camera has is a built-in panorama feature, um, which means you can just turn the camera, shoot eight shots, and within seconds, because of this super fast processor, it will stitch those together. Uh, it stitched together this beautiful shot, eight pictures, I can't find any errors in the stitching. It's absolutely wow. uh, perfection. And the image quality is very, very good. Um, maybe not. Uh, it's possible that the software doesn't produce as same quality images as on the uh, iPhone. Um, maybe the color rendition is not quite there, but it is the same hardware. And I thought that the, I thought that the, the images I was getting with this were fantastic. Just really good, crisp, excellent color. I love the panorama feature. I think that's so much fun. I, I can't stop p taking pictures of panoramas, to be honest with you. Um, this, is, this, is a gr <laughs> this is a panorama, too, but uh, we were having margaritas, so pay, pay, no, att pay, no, att <laughs> pay no attention to that. <laughs> it was last night. I was testing out the phone. Um, this is not this version is not LTE because I got the unlocked uh, or European version. But if you do get it on an LTE carrier, uh, AT and T uh, or Verizon, you'll get a LTE. Um, battery life quite good, twenty one hundred milliamp hours, which is just a little bit smaller than the Galaxy Note battery, which is twenty five. Uh, I found that it goes all day very easily. Um, even with this beautiful screen, and you are going to spend a lot more time looking at the screen. It's just, uh, it's just spectacular. Uh, very fast, very easy to use. You, you saw my fish. The reason I have fish in the background is because there's so many processors. I thought, I need to find something to do <clears throat> to use all these cores. I never used these fish on my older phone. I did, but I loved them. But I, but I always was worried that it was using up all the processor juice. So I uh, th on this phone, no problem. You got plenty of extra horsepower for the fish, let me just feed them because they're a little bit hungry right now. Oops. And I just, if you tap the top of the screen, it puts some fish food in there and they go up and they eat it. Very lovely uh, little, that's a that's a live wallpaper. It's one of the things Android does that the iPhone doesn't is it is allows you to have live wallpaper. It also allows you to have widgets, which I like, which are lar larger than icons. You have the, you can have an icon grid. If I mean, if, if you want an iPhone style icon grid, of course you can do that. But uh, I do like the fact that Android phones allow you to have larger kind of controls on the screen, like this giant Flipboard. Um, here's uh, uh, Evernote and the Google Drive. Here's some music players. Um, I, I just I think this is the best phone I've ever used. I, it just blows me away. Now here's the interesting thing: uh, the Galaxy Nexus was three hundred dollars. The Galaxy Note was three hundred dollars with a two-year contract. They're going to charge two hundred dollars for this phone. Wow. All of the major carriers, which is more the standard price for a smartphone. Uh, but, of course, that's with a new uh, two-year contract. Um, lots of uh, Samsung apps on here. This is the Samsung uh, TouchWiz interface, although you can. In fact, I'm actually using a third-party um, um, launcher called Nova that I really like. Uh, there are a lot of third-party launchers for Ice Cream Sandwich. This does come with Ice Cream Sandwich, the latest Android 4.0. Uh, but TouchWiz is quite good, too. That's the Galaxy, the uh, you know new Galaxy 
uh, interface. I think Samsung gets pretty much gets out of the way. They do have a, a few additional features. Instead of using the uh, Google Calendar, you'll be using the what they call an S Calendar. I think it's a, it's it's a perfectly good calendar. Um, I'm actually quite fond of it, um, and uh, and you know in some ways it supersedes. It's a little bit better than the Google Calendar on here. Of course, it syncs with your Google account. Uh, it's one of the other things that uh, I think Samsung does uh, quite well. Um, they uh, they attach to quite a few different kinds of accounts, including your own Samsung account. And you can use the Samsung account for uh, for backup of a lot of settings. So I've got this associated with Facebook, Skype, Google, uh, Dropbox. I got that extra 50 gigs, which is kind of nice. Samsung, Twitter, Pinboard. You know, they made a big deal about how the new iPhone is going to support integration with Twitter and Facebook. Forget that. You got everything. And you can add more accounts like crazy. I mean, there's just fantastic support for uh, integrating into the uh, into the phone. I think Android really has some nice features and this hardware uh, is easily the nicest Android phone out there. I just I just love it. This is the Samsung Galaxy S. It'll be available soon on all US carriers. It's available now around the world. They took 9 million pre-orders for this phone. This is probably going to be the best-selling phone of all time. Uh, at least for now. Of course, there's always a new phone coming along, and Apple will respond with their iPhone 5. That's that's coming soon. But boy, I'm just blown away by this. I just think it's a gorgeous, a gorgeous phone. Here's the Google Plus uh, application uh, on the phone, and it's got a lot of pictures, very picture rich. And you just see how how beautiful pictures are on this device. If you're ready for a new phone, I know you love your Droid. Uh, Verizon will have this. This will be the... the this, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I think, I think you will really, really like it. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Does it come in black too, do you know? It comes in two colors uh, right now on uh, most carriers. This is called marble white. And then there's a pebble blue, which I is a dark blue, so it's oh, there's no black. black. AT&T, I think, is going to have a red version as well. Um, one thing that I think you now this is very comparable to the HTC One X, which is the other I think really great Android phone. But it has one thing that beats the One X: it has a removable battery. And I, frankly, oh, I think yeah. that's really huge. Um, I always buy a couple of batteries and an external charger because, of course, uh, you know, battery life on smartphones. You, you know, getting through a day is a challenge. Uh, it's not unusual that I'll carry an extra battery, and when it gets to the end of the day and it's starting to run down, I'll just pop in another battery. And having that capability is really, really big. Um, so there it is. That's the Galaxy S3, the latest phone from Samsung. They got a lot of attention when they announced it. Uh, and I have to say, I believe it lives up to the uh, hype. This is a, just a spectacular phone, just gorgeous. There you go. That's my... Uh, my turn the table turkey of this week. Oh yeah, that's great. Yeah. Oh, it's just. Oh, if yeah, you play I'm with it, if you that. play with it, I think you immediately see how fast it is, and you've just got to see uh, the screen in action in person. We're not doing it justice here on our uh, our show because, of course, we don't. We're not as high resolution as this screen is. They also, it's funny, they have, uh, and they've done this for some time now on the Samsung um, Super AMOLED screens. And I think it's it kind of cracks me up. Um, they have a screen mode. You could choose dynamic, standard, natural, or movie, just like on your TV. <laughs> and uh, and so natural is kind of muted color. Some people complain about Super AMOLEDs and how vivid, extra vivid the colors are. Uh, but I keep it on dynamic. I like those rich reds and the bright and dark blacks and the bright yellows. I think that just really looks good. So, But you can choose that. Lots of nice features on this. This is a spectacular phone. Oh, I should mention, NFC is built into the battery, so you will want to use a Samsung brand battery. Uh, NFC is near-field communication, the idea that you could tap a phone on a pay pass or pay point, and it would automatically sense it. And then if you're using Google Wallet, uh, it could debit the wallet automatically. Um, I, don't, I don't know if Google Wallet supports this phone, but I would presume it does. What do you think? I like it. Yeah. I yeah. like it. I like it even better than that thing that you sit on and irritate really? your buttocks. Really? <laughs> the butt massager? Yeah. Uh, all right. I all like right. the phone bit. <laughs> um, this is, this is ju just, I can't put it down. I just, uh, I've been very fond of it. And uh, even though I, I, I have to carry an iPhone with me because it's the only number that everybody knows, this is the phone I use. I really, really love it. In fact, so much so I've actually got the iPhone phone number forwarding uh, to the Samsung. That's my turn the table turkey, but don't stop listening 
because we're about to take a very important trip. A trip to a place where gadgets go to die. A place where gadgets can romp and play in the sun before their bones decay into dust and they go into everlasting eternity, waving goodbye to all those who loved them as they slide into mortal darkness. Yes, it's Dick's Gadget Warehouse! They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, Uh he takes them out to play. Uh In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the keeper of the crypt, Dick DiBartolo. Leo, how you doing? Pal? I am well, Dick. I don't know. You know, we always do that because in the original oh yes, the show it was a brand new show. Each you know gadget we did five yeah. shows, but we've been doing the show for an hour already. So you really don't have to ask how I'm doing. Oh, it's how we All begin right. it. I understand, but yeah. Okay. So how are you doing, Leo? <laughs> I'm well. How are you, Dick? I'm good. I'm good, good. Good. Good to see you. Yeah. Okay. How you been? <laughs> Well, I'm doing a reprieve of a gadget because the first time I did it, we didn't have our video component. And this is something that really has to be seen to be enjoyed. And I'm talking, I don't know you, I I think you were astounded by it the first time, but it was the Electron Echo Mini Piano. You mean mean this gadget is... You mean we've been doing this show so long that some of the gadgets we actually talked about are now in the gadget warehouse? <laughs> yeah, no, well, this was in the gadget warehouse originally. Oh. It's just that we were not doing the video version. So we've never uh, seen this. We've never seen it. We, what we've is heard it? about it. Well, you know, I'll just refresh your memory. Um, it starts with a postcard, and the postcard says, Congratulations. <laughs> this is 20. About 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. You have won the Electron Echo Mini Piano for just the price of shipping. Imagine the joy of gathering the family around your mini piano to sing songs. We're even going to include the mini piano songbook. So just send $12.87. Wow, that's very uh, expensive shipping and handling. (laughs) Oh, yeah, but Leo, it's insured motor delivery. Oh. Oh, yeah, it's got got to come by a truck. By motor. (laughs) By motor, okay. So you send your $12.87 and you wait and wait and wait. And then your piano arrives. But a little disappointing (laughs) because the mailman pushes it through the mail slot on your front door. Oh, it fits and a piano. Really? The, fits the through mini, a mail slot? Mini piano. <laughs> yeah. When I they're saying <laughs> mini, they mean mini. It's about yes. the size of a checkbook. Yes. yes, it is. Oh, no, it's not that big. It's two by four inches, okay? <laughs> but I asked Mr. Wonderlin to come down because you really can't judge it until you hear the audio quality. And, and Dennis it. is a trained piano He's, a technician. Forward, yes. Let me turn the mic. Turn the mic here. Now, ladies you, and Dennis. gentlemen, the musical stylings of Dennis Wonderland. Wait a minute. Can you put the mic a little closer, please? <laughs> no, it still sounds crappy. Can you? <laughs> that is terrible. Is that? But Leo, the funny thing is, I thought I'd do a little web search. There are, there were two people. One is sold already. Two people selling these on eBay as collectors' items because they remember getting ripped off once before. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And one person got twenty five bucks for this. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Did so, they have to pay and shipping also- and handling? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you know, maybe I should put this on eBay and then put uh trucking will be I'll just do a close up picture so you can you can <laughs> Well, that's the, the trick. I think that's how they probably do. So, yeah. if I search for Electron Echo Mini Oh, piano, yeah, yes. Go, go to uh um eBay, yeah, and type Electron Mini Piano and it should come up because uh I checked this morning and saw that one of them was gone, but one of them is still uh Oh, no, they mu- they're all sold out. 
It sold out. Oh, you, you snooze, you lose. You do, you, you do. You too so. could have paid 25 bucks for that piece of job. I mean, that fine instrument. No, no, no. What are you kidding? This is... <laughs> I'm sorry that I asked Dennis to put on a tuxedo to do. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't sound like it could actually do chords. No, precisely. not exactly. No, it, even that is the. That is the. I mean, that is really. There's no sound coming. Hard. No, it's like no, there, it, that would annoy is, a cat, maybe. <laughs> yes, exactly. It is a. It is a right. And by the way, the songbook was also. I don't have the songbook here. The songbook is also two by four inches. And it's five pages, and each song is just four lines of music. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, which is plenty. I think after you hear four lines of music, you've, uh, you've heard enough. I, uh, I just want to show you, we have a video, uh, speaking of video, for those of you watching at home, uh, of uh, somebody using that uh, Thera, Thera ball. Looks like he's on a, a treadmill. Oh, oh, golly. No, that's, that looks painful. I do oh God, he's doing it again. Probably shouldn't try this at home. Oh, you know, flip, oh, oh yeah. Oh, he's oh. Terry. You know, he's using the wrong side. Here, flip it over, pal. <laughs> flip, oh no, I guess not. I guess neither. Now, you know, do it one more time. Use one more, the edge. There you go. Oh, oh golly, okay. no. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> if he had an electron mini piano, life could be so much better. Absolutely, he could. You know, in <laughs> agony, someone could be serenading him. <laughs> Wow. Wow. The wow. Electron Echo. Echo. Mini piano. Mini with a piano. little piano bench about that big. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what about the music? They said it came with music. Yeah, the music was, uh, it's a little book, two by four inches, and that only has four lines of music for each of five songs. Oh. That was your family music book. Oh, my God. Uh, it's a riot. I wish I had, hysterical. there was a, another company that was sending them out, but saying, uh, start thinking about how you're going to rearrange your furniture so when your mini piano comes... You have <laughs> no, place. no, yes. no! Yes, yes. You <laughs> uh, make some space in your drawer. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Make room in your pocket. <laughs> yes. You might want to move the Kleenex over. <laughs> That's good. You might want to take out a couple of dimes to make room <laughs> for your... <laughs> Arrange the Echo, furniture. Me. That is so funny. Pretty amazing stuff. I Doc Mark now, is it's just not a, fun now. Now people just send you scam things and just rip you off electronically. Right. And there's they don't no need, fun at all. No at fun. All. You no know, uniformed messenger from the federal government or anything. Oh, oh, not at all. I Doc Mark has just discovered that there's a Zabar's right around the corner and he's about to tear out of there. So I think we better He just walked out the door. <laughs> I think we better wrap this he, edition he, just, he said to Myra, will I be performing again? And Myra said, uh, I hope not. <laughs> so he left. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. I did my, uh, I did the Forrester edition. I bet he was a cantor when he was a young man. I could just, it sounds like he's in the you temple know, right I now. Bet, yeah, I, bet, right. I yeah. bet you're right. Yeah, he's got that voice. It is, uh, it is Mark's birthday. Happy 64th to uh, Mark Sikernig. Uh, he's been the butt of many a joke. Yes, <laughs> yes. and will continue to be. <laughs> and for good reason, I might say. <laughs> he once, uh, no, he's a very generous fellow. He once sent me a whole package of uh, eyeglass cleaners. Gratis. Oh, wow. So thank wow. you, Mark. It's great to see you. Happy birthday. Off to Zabar's with you. Dick D. Bartolo, thank you. Once again, a wonderful weekly daily Gizwiz. Well, wait a minute. You don't want to do a letter? Oh, crap. I thought I was out of here. Oh, my. Oh. By the way, Mark was born in the same hospital I was. Really? Yes, eight years earlier. Holy cow. Isn't that cool? Holy yeah. cow. Amazing. Yes. Amazing. Yes. Uh, anyway, my letter, Leo, mm -hmm. comes from eBay enforcement. Oh, dear. Are you in trouble? <laughs> what? Yeah. You're I selling was. stuff on eBay. What happened? Well, you know what? Um, we were looking for my eBay auction stuff, and you said, oh, it's so hard to find. So I 
took the domain name Dick's eBay Mad Stuff. Right. And you can't do that. <laughs> you can't? No. You can't have eBay in the name of a website? No. I got this, like, three pay. You uh, eBay, the leading provider of online person-to-person oh, -person services. On. And we spent millions, and our, our name means so much. And if you do what you are doing, people may confuse you with things that we do. And anyway, on and on and on. So it said... We have successfully sued many people, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Jeez. And you have to let us know in writing that you will not. So, you know, I wrote back and I said, you know, I have to tell you something. I said, first of all, I thought this was a funny idea. Second of all, I thought I was helping eBay. And third of all, I do a lot of radio and television and talk about eBay endlessly as a fun place to find stuff. I said, but obviously I will not continue to use that. And then after three days, uh, I got a letter back that, you know, they totally understand that I didn't even think about when I took that thing. And thanks for cooperating and uh, no harm done and the case is closed. But, Leo, something I didn't know is you cannot unregister <laughs> a, a website. No, okay? it's yours for a year, whether you want it or not, buddy. Not. So all you can do is put it under construction. Yeah, uh, yeah. And... and and let and and let it run out. So, but uh, I thought, boy, they must sit around and. Well, and, there's this uh, thing called Google. Really, all they have to do is enter eBay into Google, and and these things just pop up. Boy, I'm amazed that it got into Google so fast because I'd only registered like two days. Before really, they that. found it that fast. There's some. They found it. There's found you it. have a. I think you have a mole in your. Uh, yeah, I think so. So now it's just DicksMadAuction.com. So. Unless the people who own the word auction, man doesn't care because <laughs> I've been there for so many years. Wow. Uh, yeah. Now, so, did I, I've got, I got a couple of emails from Datamancer. Uh, have I, am, I mentioned that I ordered a steampunk laptop a year, oh, a year yeah, and a yeah, half yeah, ago. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You paid the guy like 50000 down. Well, and you, okay, so first of all, in the days, in the steampunk days, laptops were extraordinarily expensive. This is a $5,000 laptop, and uh, I had to pay him half up front. So a year and a half ago, I sent him 2700 bucks. Right. And he so has ever since... A couple of MacBooks by, by <laughs> now. He, oh, Yeah. But ever since, he's been working very hard, and he has some good news to report. Oh. Uh, yes, I'm very excited. Uh, he's got all his parts back from the laser cutter, and he's polishing his parts right now. So here Great. is... Yeah, so here is uh, some of the... Now he's just waiting for innards, I believe. I, uh, well, that says Asus. I don't know. Maybe he's got... Oh, okay. I don't know. And then okay. Rich sent me uh, just uh, yesterday. Holy he's cow, got his key really... the keyboards have arrived, and these are it's interesting. These are uh, engraved with a actually that is quite impressive. Yeah, these are a diamond. They call it diamond drag engraving machine. So the lettering doesn't wear off. The black doesn't fade. Holy and so this cow. laptop will last. Now is this your very machine that he sent? No, you pictures? this is somebody's, no. but not. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't finished. I still owe him twenty seven hundred bucks. I, he better hurry because I'm running out of money. Oh, okay. um, look at on the inner key. They've got a little abacus. Did you see on the sound keys? They've got a little Victrola. Oh, how isn't yeah. that cool? The tab button says tabulator. Uh, wow. Yeah, it's very an elegant script for the uh, letter. I doubt I'll be using this laptop, but uh, yeah, you know, it was Windows XP when I ordered it. I think we're going to get get it in time for Windows eight. I'm not sure, but be my mm -hmm. guess anyway uh so i, I just a little update the, the keyboard and the back are ready wow <sighs> wow that's right okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then uh, and, uh let's see oh yeah uh the what the heck is it game people can play that and win the uh where's my mad magazine oh yeah uh, the july august with spider-man on it there august yeah issue and uh, oh that's those things are neat yeah biz. i feel like i know what this is but i just do people say that to you all the time i i can't i know what that is but i can't place it 
Yeah, oh, yes, a lot of people do say that. And I always tell people it's not part of something, it's the whole gadget. That's the whole so gadget. I, I, don't, I don't trick you yeah. in that way. I just feel like, um, I don't know. I don't want to say anything. Okay. It's pretty obvious what the function of, of, of the black part is, but I don't know what the white part is. Okay, so what, you're 2% there? Yeah. <laughs> I know 2%. I'll, okay, I'll send you the fold-in. Yeah, the, the there you go. There, I don't get the whole magazine, just the fold-in. Uh, featuring such great stories as What If Batman Were Jewish, Breaking Bad, Planet Tad, and Spider-Man versus the Avengers. That's going to be good. Gizwiz.biz, yeah. you just have to guess what that is. You don't even have to and guess have right. A- I have a full page ad in there. Do you know about Total Pillow? Have you ever seen those ads? No, Total Pillow, that? where it's it's just one pillow, and you can make it do all different things. And um, it, it's an infomercial, but it's taken off. So now, like Staples carries it, and a lot of drugstores carry it. Oh. Uh, and and so it looks like the real ad, but my ad is the incredible versatile pillow that changes shapes in second. It can be round or it can be circular. It could be donut shaped. <laughs> it could be wheelish. <laughs> Is it as a toilet seat cover? A fashion neck? Pretty it's much any place. shape as long and as it's, it's circular. Free. Buy one set, get one free. Just pay for the extra fee- free set. Anyway. Don't you think, unfortunately, that... Oh, there's the real one. Yeah, Stuff is so one. stupid and crappy now that it's almost like you don't you. It just you. It's hard to write a parody because it's already no. a parody. You're you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. You just take it. You, you know, uh, it, it took a long time. I had to watch that ad about ninety times <laughs> to think how bizarre <laughs> can I get? <laughs> you know, uh, you know. I, I, made I am so not going to a man, hotel with that thing on my luggage. I'm exactly. man at the gym. Stick it in your shorts and yeah. protect your junk. It's, and then there's a great <laughs> shot of what that would look like. So yeah, it, you have a total pillow. Liz says it's great. Goes with their thera, it goes with their thera bumpy. Oh, okay. Do you like your your total? I remember when you were excited that it came. My total pillow came. You said, and and wow, uh, yeah. and what shape do you fold yours into? Just like that. You don't put it between your legs. Cradle you in comfort. Actually, you put the total pillow on your head and put that thera bumpy in your between your legs. You're set. <laughs> there you go. You'll Cheap be... Saturday night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow, wait a minute, wait a minute. You order the pillow and you get a total compress with it. Exactly. That's a special bonus. Double your order. Just pay s- separate shipping and handling for and handling. $48. As they do. Yeah. As they want. Yeah. Wow. Now, in my head, I said twistable, foldable, humpable. <laughs> that is what leaps to mind, and I'm sure that's that, the intent. That's exactly, exactly yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, humpable. <laughs> humpable. <laughs> All uh, right, my friend. Thank you so much, Dickie D. I think now we've done every segment of the show. I believe we have. Hey, Leo, how are you? I'm great. <laughs> good, I'm good. great. I've got a total pillow. Thank oh, you. Yeah. You know what? You put that in the stack. <laughs> you know, Leo, the total pillow, this, this will save you. Yes. Your ball... The total pillow on top oh, of the ball. Oh, cradling the Thera which ball. Will cradle, yes. Perfect. There you go. It's perfect. Perfect. It's, it's a perfect. leaning tower of pillow. <laughs> I'll be very happy. Okay, buddy. Thank you, Dickie D. Thank you for joining us. We do the Gizwiz right after the radio show on Saturdays, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2100 UTC at twit.tv. Uh, will you tune in next week? And if you can't watch live, you can always get audio or video downloaded to your device by visiting the website twit.tv. Thanks, Dickie D. Bye. See you next week. I'll be here. Okay. A weekly daily gives a weekly gives.